Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and as you can see in today's video, we are kicking off our playthrough of Resident Evil Village. Now you may wonder why this is up today, as it's up, you know, the day before the game comes out. That's because Capcom has been very kind and provided me with an early access copy of this game, so I could play through it for you guys a little ahead of time. So a huge shout out to Capcom and especially community manager Kat, who I know has put a lot of effort into this launch, so yeah, thank you very much for this copy. Now today guys, we might do a double upload, just to kick things off in style. I know a lot of you have been really excited for Resident Evil Village. I personally have been really excited for it because Resident Evil is one of my favourite horror franchises of all time. You know, I pretty much grew up on Resident Evil, so I'm really, really excited for this one. We played through the demos and they were really good, but today we're actually diving into the full game. So yeah, I think we should just kick things off straight away. So sit back, relax, and enjoy part one of Resident Evil Village. I think we'll just play it on standard difficulty. I'm not going to go hardcore first time. And here we go. Ooh, this is cool. Village of Shadows. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. This is really cool. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Ooh, this is so cool. I feel like they're all gonna be like enemies we're gonna meet in the game. Gifts we gave, but more you Oh, well, look, it's Mia. She snarled. So she's got a little baby. So Ethan and Mia have in settled way, down after Resident Evil 7, which is cool. And this must be Rose, because on the there. demo they talked about this baby called Rose. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Okay, Mia, calm down. <laughs> You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Of course, Mia lived through like a crazy event in Seven, so she could be infected. Maybe I don't know. Infected with that. Uh, I'll finish mold. dinner. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so Ethan's like a family man now. Ethan's settled down. He's got a little baby called Rose. It's okay, Rose. Here she is. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. Look at those chubby little hands. I can't blame her. So yeah, and Mia does not want to remember like the events of Resident Evil something? 7. Nothing. Um, I'll put her down. Obviously, you know, she went through a lot of trauma in that game. As you know, if you guys haven't sort of recapped on the story of Resident Evil 7, I recently put up a full video explaining it. I'd really recommend watching that before we dive into this game. Oh look. 
We put it on the children's cartoons. That's kind of cute. It seems like they've moved somewhere, doesn't it? It seems like they've moved out to another country, maybe, because they were saying that, like, the book was like a local tale that Mia was reading. Look, here's Mia in the kitchen, just preparing us some dinner. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. All right, I was just trying to, you know, have a little taste of what you're cooking there, Mia. Looks good, smells good, you know, look. Romantic dinner, we got some wine. Uh, oh, look, what's this? Oh, look, a little picture of Rose's birthday. She's... Is that half a year old there in that picture? February 2nd, 2021, Rose's half birthday. Okay, yeah. Her birthday will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. Rose's food. Uh, rice cereal, banana puree, sweet potato puree, boiled spinach and cream. Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey and no mushrooms. Okay. No Let's mushrooms, just no enjoy honey. It while we can. No sugar. Okay. I got it. Let's take her up to the bedroom and put her to bed. She's got a little pram there. Oh, what's in this drawer? Anything? No. Nope. Just a drawer to open. Are you crying? Are you okay? There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, not suitable for little Rose. She needs some, like, uh, Peppa Pig or something, you know? Some Dora the Explorer. Almost there, honey. Let's have a look in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. So she sleeps in our room, or Ethan's room, I should say, and she's got some little toys on the ground there. Let's go and pop her in her crib. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. That is a cute little Daddy baby. won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. There we go. Rose is down. She can sleep now. Um, we'll leave her be. And I'm just going to have a little nose around in this uh, office. There's a computer. What's this all about? February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so that we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe that much to her at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. So yeah, it seems like we've moved away from obviously America where Resident Evil 7 took place and the events of that game. But now we're like living in Europe. In Eastern Europe. <laughs> so this is our wedding picture. Um, Mia cooking. She likes to cook by the look of it. Mia when she's pregnant. In the hospital there. There's little Rose, just newly born. A uh, nice sort of photo album of family memories. I have a feeling like something bad is going to happen. This family is not going to be a happy family for too much longer, right? We've got another note here. To Rose Winters. Oh, this is, oh, this is the baby's, like, sort of birth uh, certificate, I think. So she's born in 2020. Uh, screenings, hearing, vision, touch, reflex test, all results show no issues, patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal uh, pathogen tests will be provided by the BS BSAA. Um, so yeah, the BSAA <sighs> is basically something Rose that is fine. Um, Chris Redfield was involved in, and obviously Chris Redfield saved Ethan uh, and Mia from the Baker house at the end of the game. So they're obviously doing tests on Rose, on the little baby, to make sure she's not infected, because obviously Mia was infected with the virus in the first game. Um, they obviously want to make sure that the baby isn't also infected, but she seems fine from that note, doesn't she? Let's go and join Mia in the kitchen. Here we go. Nice little stew or a soup. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... well, like a baby. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. No, I'll have a glass of wine. Go on. You really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously? 
think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- Oh, what the hell? Is that like a sniper? Mia, get down! What the heck? Why is she just standing there? Holy crap. Mia. Whoa. That escalated quickly. What the hell? God. She's pretty dead, I think. Who's this? Chris! Chris? What the what, hell? what are you doing, Sorry, man? Either. No! Oh my god. Overkill what? much, you know? Why? She's pretty dead. Holy crap, okay. Chris means business, guys. What was he doing there? He just burst on in. I thought you were cool, Chris. I used to like you, man. I used to, you used to be my favorite Resident Evil character. Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Oh, the baby, no. Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Oof. Wow, okay. Rose. Man, I don't get this. Why is Chris doing all this? He's just killed, Mi he's killed Mia when she wasn't infected anymore. Well, I suppose she wasn't. They would have done tests on her. And now Rose has been taken and she also wasn't infected. I just don't get it. I don't get the angle here, you know? Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. I've got your daughter's results back and I'd like you to come in to talk about them. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well then, what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine, I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just- Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Yeah, their relationship was on kind of very rocky grounds by the look of it. I guess it's hard to sort of carry on after something like the events of Resident Evil 7, though. Like, that's a traumatic experience. And where are we waking up now? It looks like we've just been dumped somewhere. Yeah, we're outside. Look at this. Jesus. I think something's like attacked the transport we were in. Who's calling? About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not fucking around with I guess that's one of like the BSAA members, which is like the organization Chris is part of. Maybe Blue Umbrella, actually. What the hell happened here? So this is like, we're stranded. I'm guessing we're going to go to the village now, guys. Because obviously we were in this transport as maybe being taken as a prisoner by Chris. Um, in fact, we can probably check out this file. Yeah, mission objectives. Eliminate target and recover body. The target was obviously Mia. Uh, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses <laughs> to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers assigned to accompany them. Okay. So, yeah, we were being moved with Rose. We don't know why yet. Can I go in here? Nope. All right. Well, that looks pretty wrecked. It looks like we're going to have to sort of um, move on from here and head off into the forest. Now, this is like the beginning of Mia's story, isn't it? Where she goes, the little girl headed into the forest deep. And the next step, obviously, she reaches a village and sees a bat. 
And I feel like the bat maybe represents the uh, Demetrius family, like the vampire family. Or the werewolves or something. So, what was that? I'm trying to theorize on the game and like, <laughs> I've got stuff in the trees. Man, this is creepy. One absolutely epic way to kick off a game though, right? That was nuts. I like a good intro, you know. If a good intro happens, it hooks me. All right, this is kind of creepy, guys. I can't see anything. What's that? What was that? I'm heading forwards. Can we run? We can't run. We can just, like, stagger. Oh, look, there's a fence we can get under. Ooh. Cut ourselves on that little prick of a... Yeah, this is just teaching us the controls, isn't it? Oh! Something's up there. Uh, do I have any weapons? Nope. Not even a knife. Wait a second. That sounds... Like a growling in those trees, guys. What the... What is this? Oh... Man... Oh, I think it's just a crow. It's a... A torn apart crow, but still nasty. Still not a pleasant sight, right? Oh my god, that was alive. <laughs> what the heck? I'm getting, I'm getting by it. Screw that noise. Alright. Onwards. Man, it's so misty. Can I run? It would be really helpful if we could run right now, guys. What the heck was that? It was like a leg. It was literally like a leg in front of us. Um, okay. Got some water. It's really hard to make out anything in this uh, darkness, you know. More dead crows. There's dead crows everywhere. I don't really understand it. We go in here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a broom. We've got we've got a weapon, guys. We can use that to defend ourselves. Oh. Sounds like something down below. What's that? A picture of an old woman? Okay. Didn't know what I was expecting to see in there. I was kind of worried about opening that, but it's just pretty normal. Oh. A cellar, guys. Let's go down. We have to. We must. So dark in here. I thought that was a herb. I could heal myself up. It's just a dead plant. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Well, what about in here? This one's got blood on it. Mm, cute little rats. Um. Oh. Wait, is that something above us? Oh, we're trapped. Is this like a dead end? Um. All right. Okay. 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 Um. We go back where we've come. It's the only way. I need a weapon. The broom. The broom, guys. <laughs> we need. We can get the broom. Okay. Uh. Oh, an antler maybe as well. Use that. Stick it in the uh. The eye of whatever's up here. Oh. Why? All right, all right, um, I guess we're crawling under. Here we go. Oh. Bloody, don't worry about the blood right now. Worry more about whatever is in that house, you know. <laughs> what did all this? Oh, it's morning. The dawn is breaking. We can see. Look at that. This is a nice looking game, guys. You've got to admit. The visuals are nice. Let's uh, head through this little path. This little mountain pass. Here we go. Ooh, the castle. Look at that. How impressive. Where the hell am I? Got a massive view. Do we get to like explore all of this? 
because that looks like the village down below. Imagine if this is kind of like semi-open world and we get to like fully explore it. Okay, let's go down then. Let's head on down. We'll see what we find in this village. Ooh. A little bit steep. Um, oh, there's a dead horse. Is this the horse from the story? Because if it is, it's not going to cause us much harm, is it? It's pretty dead. Oh man, look at those broken eggs. Makes me want fried eggs. Ooh. This is open. Okay. Anyone home? Maybe maybe they're out? Yeah, maybe they're out, Ethan. Look at the state of this place. Come on, man. You know what's happened here. I love how optimistic he is, but, you know, let's... Let's not kid ourselves as to what's happened in this house. I'll check the other house out. Little cat box. A well, ooh. Wait, what's that? Just do not enter. Probably we have to go through that, I'm guessing, but I'm gonna just follow this pathway through here and see what's down here. Oh man. All these houses are like abandoned. Oh, what's that? Something upstairs? I don't think we could do anything here. I'm just gonna head down like into the village a bit deeper. There's so many different ways we can go here, it's quite open. So I have no idea if I'm going the right way. What's behind us? Wait, there's some music coming from down here. Oh my god, look at all these animal heads. These goat heads just hanging up. What happened? It's this signpost. Graveyard that way, ceremony site that way, workshop that way. Um, I don't know if a ceremony site sounds particularly intriguing to me. Nor does the graveyard, to be honest, though. Maybe we should have headed to the workshop. Here we go, we've got a house with a light. That might be the game saying, hey, dummy, come over here. Wait, did I just hear something? Is that like a chicken or something? I don't know. Hello, anyone here? Some force should break it. Well, go on, man. Break it. Get us a weapon. <gasps> Ooh, a knife. Nice. We have got our first knife. It's not much. <laughs> it's like a potato knife or something, or a meat knife. <laughs> but you know what? It's better than nothing. Did they just run out of the house? That's kind of gross. I don't think that looks as good as Mia's soup, does it? She won't be making that for us anymore. Can we pull this? Oh, okay. No, no. That scared me a little bit. Who are you? How did he miss Who us sent you? with a shotgun? No <laughs> there was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? <laughs> that guy is paranoid. With, with good reason. Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. Nope. No, why would I? I got a knife. Kitchen knife. Ooh, nice. Yeah, take give me that gun. Take uh, yeah, take, take it. it. Okay, cool. We're in business, guys. We got a gun. Be careful with that thing, man. Are you listening? Hey! Oh no! Uh, can we at least have your shotgun? No. Okay. Oh, the blood, the gore. Ooh. What the heck is that? Some kind of werewolf? A lichen? Uh. Oh my god, we're in a, like a graveyard, like a mass grave. Wait, there's the townsfolk. God, this is nuts. Just like dead bodies everywhere. Uh, who is this? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this isn't a good start, is it? 
I don't think it's a particularly friendly village. What the hell is wrong with this place? This is not good. <laughs> I feel like that is not... Oh my god. Ugh. It is a werewolf. Oh my god. Did it just bite our fingers off? Right, it's time to kick some ass. Oh, holy crap, it did. It bit our whole hand off. That's savage. <laughs> Um, I don't think we want to know what it is. No. Please stay back. We've got a gun though. Let's shoot this thing. Boom. Go for the headshots, guys. All the headshots, right? Boom. Look at these precise shots I'm doing here. I'm spacing my shots out. Oh, missed. Let's reload while we got time. Boom. Oh man, he dodged. Okay, you got some skills, my boy, but you're going down. No. He's got us. He's got us. Okay, okay, okay. There, we got him. We got him. We got him. Okay, he is down. He's what like the a hell? Hulk or something. Wow, okay. Can I at least get a herb? A herb? Bolt cutters. Sweet, we've got bolt cutters. Uh, view your inventory. Okay, so this is our inventory here. We've got items, crafting. Oh, we can craft stuff. Can I craft this? Nope. I don't have any items to craft yet. Then key items. So we've got our family photo. Rip, Mia. We've got, we'll save you, Rose. Don't worry. We can still save Rose. And then uh, we've got bolt cutters and treasure. Cool. So that old dude got, like, absolutely destroyed. Unfortunately, we couldn't get his shotgun. But at least we can probably uh, open this with the bolt cutters. Lovely work. Okay. Is there anything else in this area before I head on? Like, because I feel like we could get some ammo, right? At least. Chem fluid. Nice. I'll take that. And a herb. Ooh. So I think now we can craft our first aid kit. Yes, look, here we go. One crafted. And now we should be able to heal. I think we're okay at the moment, but we do have a healing item now, guys. So, um, that's pretty awesome. Right, through the gates. Here we go. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh. Maybe we don't want to see what's behind door number two. Oh, radio. Let's turn that off. Handgun ammo, yes, nice. Let's uh, reload our gun. You can barricade the door. Oh, okay, yes. It's like Outlast. We can barricade doors. Can we hide in lockers as well? Ooh. Ethan likes to fall through stairs. I think it's happened like two or three times already. Wow. Can we kill this thing, or is this... I never know whether the game wants us to kill the enemies. Yeah, I think it does. Stay out. Stay outside. They're gonna try and break through, guys. Oh my god. Can we... Is there a way we can get out? Wait, maybe we can get out on the roof. Oh no, I don't know where we go! Guys, I don't know what we do. There must be a way we can escape. Oh my god. Oh, there's, there's a werewolf in here. Okay. I think we just have to kill them all. I'm going to knife him. Oh, he's bit us. He's bit us. Okay. You punk, come here. Wow, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to get my gun out again, guys. Oh, oh. Get off me! We need to restore our health, guys. This is really bad. Okay, heal. Heal and then shoot him. There, headshot. Boom. Oh, we got some money. Some lie. Or is it lay? I think it's lie, maybe. I don't know. I think they've left us alone. And I can hear the radio. Hello. If there are 
any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Okay. Louisa's house near the fields. I think that's where the demo took place. So that's where we need to head. Um, cool. Sounds good. I guess we unbarricade the door. Look at his hand. That is ridiculous. He's literally... In the last game, he, let, he like lost his hand, if you remember, guys. So it seems like Ethan just constantly loses body parts in these games. Gotta feel bad for the guy. Oh my god. Hello. You boys wanna attack me or can you just leave me be? They're just kind of watching us. They don't seem to want to attack, so... I'm just gonna, like, run. I don't want to have to fight every enemy in this game, you know? Ooh, shotgun! Give me the shotgun! Give me the shotgun! Okay, nice. Okay, I'm getting out of here, guys. I'm not gonna fight everything. Screw that. Got some rusted scrap. Nice, I guess that's crafted, right? Man, we've got enemies all over. How many shotgun am uh, sh shells do we have? We've got two. So we haven't got a lot of ammo of a shotgun. Okay. Boom. But it doesn't matter because it does a headshot in one shot. Oh, it did on one enemy. It has on the others. Do I kill all these guys? What the heck? There's so many. I need to reload. Okay, we got another, we got another, we got another. Break. Handgun ammo, yes. Get off me, punk. There's no end to them. Alright, there's no end to them. We need to go, we need to go. We need to go. Oh, there's shotgun shells in that um, house. Can we go in? Oh, can we barricade the door? No. What the heck is that noise? Guys, this is nuts. I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna pick up the stuff and I'm gonna get up this ladder. Can we get up this ladder? Please, please, please. Yes. Thank you. Wow, there's so many werewolves. Oh no, that's not good. They're like, what the heck? They're setting fire to the whole village? Okay, I'm getting out. Where do we go? Where's a good place to go, guys? There's oh my god. Do we, surely we don't have to kill all of these, right? That that's that seems nuts. Oh wait, we could blow up this barrel. Let's try and lure a few over here. Come on. There you go, little punks. How's that? Do you like that? Huh? Do you like that? How about this? Oh oh oh. Okay, that's we need shotgun. Reload. He's down. And you're kidding me. Wait, what the heck is that noise? Oh my god, we burned through all our shotgun shells already. No. No. Are we meant are we meant to even be able to like win this section? Is there like any end to this? Oh my god. What the heck is that? It's like an ogre, what the heck? Oh my god. We're back in the house we started and this is not good. This is not good at all. I need to try and craft something. Can I make a medic pack? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. I'll heal myself. Thing is, Ethan said there's no end to them, so... I don't know what we're meant to do here, guys. Do we just endlessly fight these things? There we go, we got another. It just seems like this they're never gonna stop. Oh my god. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Alright, we're getting through these guys, but we're also running out of bullets. I honestly don't know what to do. I've run out of ammo. I've got to use the knife. We're back to using the knife. Get off me! No! What 
the heck? They're, <laughs> they're on horses. Are you kidding me? I think we just had to like maybe survive. All right, your breath stinks pretty bad, man. Get back. Look at that giant golem thing. That ogre. Whoa. Oh my god, that is not an, that is not a pretty face, guys. That looks nuts. What is that? They're actually like riding horses and everything. I don't even know how we survived that encounter. Like I burned through all my ammo. Like, what was even going on there? I thought I was being really dumb or something, but I think he had meant to just survive. Look at his hand! Man, he has gone through the works, hasn't he? Already. <laughs> if that was me, I'd just be like, you know what? I'm going home. Okay. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh. Oh, wait. There's, yeah, there's an old woman from the demo. I'm guessing this is where it kind of links into the um, the demo area, right? Can I go through this? This strange emblem. Yeah, this is the demo area. Okay, let's have a look at this old woman. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello. You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> she likes to cackle. Rose is here. She's a. She's got a good cackle on her, that old woman. So yeah, look, we're in the sort of heart of the village now, guys. And I actually know what I'm doing on this part. This is from the demo. You guys might watch me play the demo. Um, so yeah, this is the actual demo area. Look at all these weird symbols. It's kind of like they kind of worship Mother Miranda around these sort of weird... They're not pentagrams, but they're kind of like these weird, like... Do you call it an effigy or something? I don't know. Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. I mean, I wouldn't welcome that. Whoever's written that note's a bit weird. We just went through the works with them, didn't we? Easy to pick lock. Okay, we'll pick that when we get a lock pick then. Make a note of that. Do we have, like, a map or anything right now? Yeah, we do. Look, we actually have a map of the town. That's kind of cool. So we've come from over here. Okay, cool. I like that you don't have to pick up the maps, like it just lets you see kind of like where you are, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, look, we've got... There's a little glowing object in that goat's eye. I want to get that, but I don't have any bullets at the moment. We actually burned through all of our ammunition in that fight. I don't know if the game was trying to like make us burn through all our ammo, you know? So that we had to like have nothing at this point. Little crows, what's this? Little goat. We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall, f shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Well, they haven't done any good, because I just did feel Mother Miranda's wrath, so... Ah. There you go. Cynic. I got an achievement called Cynic. Okay. So we need to find, basically, two Guess this um, to the castle. plates which go in here to open this gate to the castle. So what we're going to do is head through here. And, uh, yeah, go looking for them. Here's the first one. Maiden's Crest. Okay. Look, there we go. The internet sensation herself, Lady Dimitrisk. Um. Well, I think it's Dimitrisk you, but then... 
Wait, what's that? That's like a weird doll or something. That's super creepy. And then we've got this guy here. I think his name's meant to be like Heisenberg or something. Um, is this Mother Miranda? I'm assuming so. Looks like her. We've got a map as well. So it says, should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crests. One is in the care of the church and the other is at Louisa's house. So we're, we're trying to head to Louisa's house there, guys, as you can see. It's down at the bottom of the screen there. Um, so, yeah, I guess we, we should do that. Ooh, typewriter. We can save our progress. <gasps> it's actually got typewriters to save progress like the old games. That's so cool. Well, I'll definitely save. Down here, I guess. Look at this. Field. Now, there's probably something lurking in that field, so... I'm gonna have a little, little explore, guys, and try and find some key items. Oh, look at mine. Nice. That will come in handy. I'm not looking forward to having to fight that big guy. Because I'm, ass oh. I'm assuming we have to fight that giant, like, ogre. Oh, wow. Well, it's, it's a werewolf, I think. I like him, but it's huge, like an ogre, isn't it? We've got shotgun ammo. Yes. Nice. I'll have that. And give me some of this. Pistol ammo, sweet. Okay, we're all ready to go, I think, guys. I think we're ready to head on in. What's this? Gunpowder. Can we craft some more ammo, actually? That's what I want to know. Um, let's have a look. Crafting. Ammo. Yes, we can. Sweet. And a first aid pack. Okay. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to try and run through this field and avoid combat if I can. Because, like, we already faced off against, like, loads of these werewolves. I don't really want to fight them again. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run for this house. Close the door. Please. Hey, what are you doing here? All right, we've got a friendly face, guys. Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? That guy does not look no. in good shape. They're all in Louisa's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Well, that's where I we're going too, you know? He's an outsider. Shut up, old man. <laughs> the adults are talking. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louisa's Shh, house. Shh, quiet. Keep Must it be down. away inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. <laughs> yeah, let the guy with half a hand go in there. <laughs> go and find a way in. That old guy does not look to be doing well. Look at him. It's all right. We'll help you and your dad out. Don't worry. That's our job, right? Ethan is a little boy scout. So let's head on into <laughs> Louisa's house, guys. We've got some ammo. This game gives us quite a lot of ammo. I'm quite, kind of glad of that because we had so much combat already compared to like Resident Evil 7. It's so obviously going for a far more action approach than like horror this time. Obviously Resident Evil 7 was like a pure horror experience for like most of the game. And this is like the opposite of that. It's kind of just like super action focused. Still creepy though. So we need to get the crest out of there. Look, that's the other crest we need to open the gates of the castle. But let's first let these people in. <coughs> Come on, Here we it's go. clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. <sighs> Took your damn time. All right. You're welcome. Thanks for uh, your gratitude there, old man. Makes me really compelled to save you, you know. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Mm. Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? Oh. It's <laughs> just whimpering. We have to get inside. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't feel like he's in the best shape. We might want to cut Just him loose. Hold on a bit. <laughs> Hello? 
Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Oh, that's Stop not good. Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. That guy is twitchy. Oh, who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. <laughs> that guy's a dick, You're isn't You're not he? from this village. <laughs> uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! He's like, but I don't want to check the grounds. I want to point the gun at the guy. Well, if Elena trusts you... And so do I. Thanks. Come inside, Ethan. Respects, you know? You respect me, I respect you. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Cool. We'll snoop around. We'll save the game for a start. Here we go. What's this? Louisa, they've broken again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through to winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? Uh, yeah, I think she has, judging by what I just went through. Um, all right, let's turn the pages. Let's see this book. This looks like locations that we'll go to throughout the game. We've seen several of these already. This way. And wait a sec, I'm looking at your book. Look at that giant statue there. It's like a, a Promethean statue or something. We've got giant... Um, Windmill there. Looks like an excavation site or a mine. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Right, let's go. Onwards. Come inside. The others are waiting. Look, everyone's just gathered in this room. The fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Right. Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan. Are you sure you were, man? You look like you're a tip-top shape there. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow... We could put a label on that guy. Worthless drunk. <sighs> tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. And hand me. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... that's it. He, he went to fetch help. I'm sure he's fine. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Yes, the praying will help. Here we go, it's some, like, seance going down here. Great ones, hear our voice together as one in reverence. We call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. I'm joining in. In the life and in death, we give glory to Miranda. There we go. Hopefully that works, right? We all pitched in. Come help me, Elena. Please. Do you know what? The tea is the most exciting that thing prayer. so far. I've heard it before. 
I love There was tea. an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> yeah, the hag, man. Um, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> Sit back down, dude. Oh no, that's not good. You doing? Leonardo, you idiot. Are you okay? Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay. It's escalating, guys. That guy has gone feral, man. Oh, that would hurt. That is the jugular right there. Um, okay. Oh, he's hard. Ooh. Nice, Selena. Selena? Coming in with that shotgun. Boom. No, you know, that's kind of sad. That's her dad. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Now that mother. is a traumatic hey. event right there. Hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena. Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. Papa! This entire place no. is collapsing. No. No. <laughs> You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No, we're getting out of here together. Yeah, you wait there. Um, you know, we'll we'll go and. I gotta get out of here. Sort things out. Right, so there's a fire, guys. Uh, we need to get out of this place. We need to get the key for this truck, I think. I, I will remind you that I have played this from the demo, so it's, it's quite fresh in my memory for the most part. Got a herb. Um, anything in here? Ooh, yeah, some lay. I like it. Take the screwdriver out of a key ring, okay. Here we go. We've got a truck key and a screwdriver inside. Nice. Damn, the fire's moving fast. We're getting out of here, Elena, don't you worry. Let's start at the engine. Here we go. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Right, let's do this. Time to bust on out. Indiana Jones style. Just slam on through the truck. And boom. Okay, that's one. One more should do her. Don't know if it's good for the structural integrity of this building. We won't worry about that. It's already collapsing anyway. Ethan, are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Never been better. Let me back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. Oh no. All right. Um. Let's go upstairs. Come on, Elena. Let's get out. Come on. Hurry. It's an absolute move. inferno downstairs. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. Look at that. I know. Thank you, Ethan. That's all right. All in a day's work for Ethan Winters. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. Right up we go then. <laughs> <laughs> His foot keeps going through floorboards. Come on, it'll hold. How many times is that now, guys? Like four times? There. That's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? <laughs> He's still alive. Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. 
He said my name. Father. Wait, Man, this... I like Elena as a character. I think she's cool, but she is dumb. Irrational, I think, is the best word, right? I know it said dad, but I mean, come on now. Give me your hand. You were safe. We were home free. Ethan, go. Save your daughter. Elena, don't kill her. See, look, he's already, he's dead now. Reach for me. Oh, no. Elena. That's a shame. I liked Elena. I thought we could be friends, you know? Why is everyone dying on me? Poor Ethan. This is just too much. This is literally like the worst day he will ever have in his life. And after the, the events of Resident Evil 7, that's saying quite a lot. He's had his wife murdered. He's had his hand chopped in half. He's lost his just, daughter, Rose, to his old friend, Chris Redfield, uh, who also killed his wife. And then he's been, like, bludgeoned by all these werewolves and just lost, like, this woman he befriended. So, yeah, it's kind of, like, not a good day for this him. This place has gone mad. Yeah, it has Why gone mad. Fuck, is this happening again? <sighs> Shit. I concur. This place has gone very mad. We need to head up to that castle, though. That's where we're going next, guys, to uh, Castle Dimitrescu. Or Dimitresk. I still don't know how I'm meant to pronounce that name because the game tells me one thing. And then people that speak the language natively in the comments section tell me another. So I should probably listen to the native speakers. Pronounce that you, you know? Um, anyway, let's use the screwdriver on here. Let's get that little crest. Demon crest. Ooh, there we go. And now, ooh. Is it gunshot? Who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Hey! Ooh. Is that Mother Miranda? <laughs> I feel like that is Mother Miranda. It looks like she's got a crest what around was, her head, like um, what was that? in the picture we saw in the church. There's the old hag again, as she yeah. was affectionately referred to. Yes. Death has visited them all. She's kind of like a, a Yoda <laughs> of this game, isn't she? Like a little Yoda-type figure. <laughs> Look at her cackling away. She's absolutely mad. She's madder than a bag of frogs. Oh, look. Look at this. What is that? A crystal fragment. Nice. It's like a treasure. Let's have a look. White mineral found in this region. Could probably sell it. It's valuable. Nice. We haven't found the vendor yet. The merchant. I actually want to shoot the other one we saw before we head forward, which was in the go tie over here. There we go. Okay, let's go. It is time to put the old Crestorinos in here. First the Demon Crest. Just line that up. Looks good to me. And secondly, we have got the Maiden Crest. We need to line that one up. And there we go. As if like magic, the door opens. Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Here we go, guys. We're going towards the castle now. We're going to meet, meet tall lady, the internet sensation herself, and her daughters. This looks creepy. This is all new now. I have no idea where we're going next. Man, the visuals on this game are so good. Like, Capcom's done such a good job on this. Look at this. It's like a kind of um, like a wine cellar or something. We've got like, is this an elevator? Well, well. Oh. Who's this? It's a Heisenberg. Left. You must be pretty Whoa, look at everything's floating around him. That's nuts. Who the fuck are you? He's got anti-grav. Oh. You're not local. Even better. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Mother Miranda is gonna love you. <laughs> wow. 
What the heck? <laughs> We're just covered in scrap. Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. I'm not whining. I'm just quiet, man. What are you talking about? He's getting dragged along. What the heck? This game is absolutely mental. This is so cool, though. Like, I never know what to expect the next. No real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. <sighs> Furthermore, I can show you that you trust Oh my god, that is terrifying. My daughters and I will deliver to you. What the hell is that? It's like a giant toad. He's awake! Why you shut the fuck up? What? <laughs> the whole gang is here. Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me. And I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Oh, so gauche. There's Lady Demetrius. Bread and circuses. The man thing's suffering is assured. Gag, gag, as a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> She's so tall. I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Look how Heisenberg tall she is. is but a child, and his devotion Whoa. to you is questionable. <laughs> Give the mortal to me, and she towers I'm over sure us. he is ready. Shut your damn mouth! And don't be a sore loser. You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well. Oh, to keep glory! Now. One day your head will actually fit your ego. Fight! 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 Hey, fight don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely Mother Miranda in the Remember center. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. <laughs> she is not a happy lady. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you have in there. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No Whoa. Way. Okay. Ten, nine, Do we have to run? Eight, seven, yeah, we're gonna six, go. Five, four, Jump. Three, Ethan, you got no other chance. You gotta two, go. One, we gotta run. We have got to run, guys. This is nuts. We <laughs> look, our hands are chained together. That's right. Run for your life. We're Heisenberg's little plaything now. That doll thing is so creepy. I don't even know what that was, guys. Do you see that little... Whoa, okay. No time to think about the doll. Wow. The ogre is back. Ooh. Um... Okay, we're sliding down a tunnel now. <laughs> Quite the adventure. Literally a roller coaster ride. You're still alive? In what the heck? Oh, a classic Resident Evil trope for ceiling of spikes coming down, okay. Right, what do we do? That is actually coming down. Um, is there like somewhere we can crawl through? Yes. Let's get out of here. See you later. Room of spikes. Shit! Oh. oh no, that was, it's still coming down. My word. You truly are as strong as they say. Go, 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 go. Oh, you don't think I'd let oh you what the heck? Um, gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. Right, so what do we do? The the oh, in here, in here. We can hide, guys. <laughs> ah! Nothing like fresh American ground beef. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> that was close. Does he think we're dead now? I mean, how is he even watching us? Is there like some kind of like security foot, like camera feed in here Wait, or something? Do those freaks have rows? Look at that, we almost got crushed in that. I honestly didn't know what to do there, guys. I was like looking around, I just saw this little hole. I was like, I'm just gonna go for that and hopefully it's right. 
We actually survived, though. We got some labor, a bit of money, a bit of coin for our pocket. Some handgun ammo. We still have our weapons somehow. He left them on us. Only in Resident Evil, right? That was insane. Um, so we're now, like, in Heisenberg's workshop. I think I'm going to play a little bit more in this episode, and then I'm going to sign off. What an intro this has been to the game, though. What a first episode, right? Okay. we got to proceed with caution here, guys. Slow and steady. Wins the race, as they say. Cool. Oh, we're back in the room, but we were in before. So... We've got a path down there. I'm wondering if we can, like, maybe go upstairs now. Ooh. The door opened. I wasn't expecting that. I thought we were going to have to go and turn the power on or something. I'm just going to kind of head on up here. Ooh, we're back outside. Nice. There's the castle. Almost there now. Look at these people just strung up. Food for the crows. Ooh, look at this. Little wagon. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winter. <laughs> there he is, the Duke. How do you know my name? The merchant. Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of He's you. He's a big boy. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Sweet. So he is the Duke. I mean, I could think of another name for him, but... A little bit rude, so I'm just going to call him the Duke as he wishes. Look at all the food strung up. You can tell, you know, even when he's working, he needs to constantly have, like, sausages and fish and stuff to eat. Probably not got the best breath in the world. If it's just looking, window shop away. Right, sweet. So let's see what we can buy. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. So we've got the Duke's purse. And here we can sell stuff. So look, I can actually sell him the crystal fragments that we picked up. Which I'm going to do, because that's 4,000 lay right there. <laughs> to think I would buy such things. But you did just buy it. What are you talking about, man? Um, cool. And then, gunsmithy. So this is where we can upgrade, like, the stats of our guns. But we need, like, a lot of money to do that. For example, we, for power, we need 8,000 on the shotgun. It might be worth, however, upgrading, like, the pistol. That's still 6,000, though. Rate of fire. Hmm. I'm tempted by ammo I'm capacity. All sorts of weapons modifications, and Let's have a look at supplies. Small fee. So what's this? Oh, recipe for shotgun ammo. You know what? That might be actually really useful. We can actually craft shotgun ammo. I'm going to do that. I'm going to purchase uh -huh. that. And... What's this? Oh, extra baggage. Increases the number of item slots available in your inventory. That could actually be really useful too. I think I'm mostly going to save our coin for now, guys. So that we can upgrade some stuff in a little bit. Have a wonderful adventure. Thanks, Duke. I will. You too. Uh, look after yourself. Maybe you hit the gym once in a while, right? Just looking out for you, man. That heart is uh, a ticking time bomb. Right, here we go then, guys. We're going into the castle next. We are now in the castle. Castle Dimitrescu, or Dimitrescu. Still don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to have to decide. Could Rose be here? So look, there's three women here. Three young women. And it says three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. So, I think these are the three, like, vampire sisters that chase us around, or at least they have the names of the three vampire sisters. Got some more lay there. 
Nothing happens with the elevator. So before we end this video, I do want to find like a save point. I don't know if there's a save point down here. This castle's kind of creepy. Handgun ammo. I'm just destroying all of their vases. This is an impressive looking castle, I've got to say, you know? Wait, what's that noise? Look at this. I think this is where the Duke was in the demo that we played. Ooh, what's this? We need to put something in here. I don't know what, though. There's a weird, like, crystal skull in there. We need to put some kind of bald object in there. And we can see the whole castle here. Um, we've got a note as well. Norsian's Labyrinth. A craftsman of the late 19th century, Norsian was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norsian then created four labyrinths. The castle, the house on the hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Now each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. So that's what we're looking for, to put in that little hole there. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Northian's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. I wonder if like, the lady and her daughters maybe are related to this, because that's four women right there. I don't know, just, you know, theorizing here. And I do wonder also, because it says Northian's a craftsman, if like Northian was the thing that was controlling that little creepy doll earlier. We've got a save point here though, guys. So I'm gonna save the game. And yeah, I think this is a really good place to end off this first episode. We've obviously been through quite a lot already. You know, we've met the tall lady, we've met Heisenberg, the weird guy with the hammer, we've met the craftsman with the dolls, we've met the weird toad thing, Mother Miranda. We've done all the village section. Ethan's been through a whole range of emotions and it's been a wild ride already. But now we've reached the castle, episode two, which might be up later today, is gonna pick up right where we left off as we explore this kind of cool looking castle here and see what secrets it holds. But I really wanna say thank you again to Capcom for the early access and also thank you to you guys for tuning in today to support this series this is going to be a full playthrough on the channel it's going to take place over the next four or five days so keep coming back there will be at least one and maybe two new videos on this game every day and uh, yeah we're going to play through it together so thanks for watching today if you did enjoy the video remember to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all on the next one